Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. How you guys are doing? Comment below and let me know. I would like to hear from you all. And guys, if you have noticed, since a few weeks I am uploading only Olympiad videos because in my school I have Olympiad exams during November and December. Today I'm going to analyze my National Astronomy Olympiad paper 2018. It was conducted by the Orange Educational Society. The they provide you with the book to study. This is the book. It has eight chapters and two mock tests and it also has a free online test. It's right here. Friends, first you need to sign up, then you can do the online mock test. The links will be given in the description box. Don't forget to check it. So without further ado, let's begin. This is the question paper. Here we have some instructions for students. Again, you get a one more sheet to shade the bubble. There are total three questions in this paper. No negative markings for wrong answers. Paper is divided into two. Section A contains logical questions. Section B contains astronomy questions. So, I told you all the things about this paper. So, let's get inside it and see the questions. Section A. You can do it if you practice logical reasoning. Chapter and mock test. Become because mock test one has exact questions. So what's the question? If this is good for bag, this is good for dog, and this is good for pool, then code for good. Square, triangle, circle is for bag. Heart, star, circle is for dog. And cloud, star, star, L is for pool. So what's for good? If your answer is circle, star, star, heart, you are good at this. So... Moving on to question two. Smen hits eight fours and two sixes. If he scores a total of 52 runs, how much runs does he score by running between the wickets? Eight fours equals eight into four equals 32 runs. Two sixes equals to 2 into 6, 12 runs. So you have to add 32 plus 12, you'll get 44. And now you have to subtract 44 from 52, you'll get 8 runs. So your answer will be 8. It's C bear. He scored 8 runs by running within the wickets. Let's move on to question number three. So here the question is simple. It is bag is used to carry books. Your bag is called bottle. So answer is option D. In mock test two, you can find it. Move on to question number four. Again, logical reasoning. 12, 25, 38, 51. 12 plus 13, 25. 25 plus 13, 38. 38 plus 13, 51. 51 plus 13, 64. So, 64. Easy. So, you just gotta keep on adding. Sakit was asked to go to south. He walks some distance and turns right. Which direction is he facing now? Sakit walking south. South. 
he turns right from south. So, where is right from south? It's west. So, it's the west. Answer west. So, I got the answer west. Moving on to question number 7. Large number of rocky bodies called asteroids is found between which two planets? Friends, if he just says rocky bodies called asteroids, you just think it is an asteroid belt. He's asking where is it found? Bet where is it found? Between which two planets is it found? So it is Mars and Jupiter. Okay, Mars and Jupiter. So the answer for it is C, which is present in chapter 3. The planet will have this concept. And Mark Test 1 had some questions just like it. So we'll move on to question number eight. Which heavenly body is called a falling star? Guys, few people they see stars falling at night. Those are called comets. They make wishes. They think it comes true. I didn't do it till now, but I guess it will be true. And those are called comets. Okay? Those are called comets. And the answer is A. On to question number 9. The given table shows feature of some planets. Choose the one that is incorrectly matched. So, here are a few statements. We have to choose the one about the planet which is not correct. And guys, do you know about planets? Tell me is it true or false? Mercury, nearest planet from the sun, true or false, true, correct. Mars, red planet, true or false, true, correct. Venus, afternoon star, do you think it is true? We'll see. Jupiter, largest planet, true or false, true. So Venus is not the afternoon star. It is the evening star. So the answer is C. Moving on to question number 10. Read the following statements. Movement of moon around the earth causes day and night. Movement of moon around earth causes different phases of moon. Choose the correct statement or statements. Do you know about moon? Movement of moon around earth causes day and night. Really guys? No. Movement of Moon around Earth causes different phases of moon. Correct. So only the second one is correct and the answer is C. Again, it's in chapter 3, the planets. If you need, if you read it thoroughly, you will get it. Moving on to question number 11. Which gas is present in sun? Guys, do you know which gas is present in the sun? Put it in the comment down below. It's hydrogen and helium, but both are not there here. Like carbon dioxide, oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen. So which one do you think is correct? Leave it right, hydrogen. Which part is between core and crust of the earth? You will find this in chapter 4, Our Earth. It has the same question and the answer is D. Mantle. It is core mantle crust. One to question number 13. Choose the incorrect statement about the moon. 
The moon is the Earth's only natural satellite. Yuri Gagarin was the first man to land on the moon. The moon reflects the light from the sun. There is no air on the moon. Guys, do you, which one do you think is correct? Means he's asking which one is incorrect. So which one do you think is correct? Yep, Yuri Gagarin was the first man to land on the moon. Actually, he was not. He just went to the space to see all the planets and came back. Moving on to question number 14, which eclipse occurs when the shadow of the earth falls on the moon and the moon cannot be seen? Friends, just don't see the part and the moon cannot be seen, just see before and just hide the part. Which eclipse occurs when the shadow of earth falls on the moon? Do you know which one? Okay, if your answer is B, lunar eclipse, you are correct. It's lunar eclipse. Let's move on to question number 15. Which statement correctly talks about Earth's atmosphere? It is an envelope of gases surrounding the earth. It is a collection of smoke and dust moving around the earth. It is a layer of water vapors formed around the earth. It is a group of clouds formed in the sky. Which one do you think is correct? It is an en envelope of gases surrounding the earth. Okay guys? Moving on to question number 16, which of the following is launched to study planets and their satellites? Rockets. Moving on to question number 17, which of the following is the largest? The universe, the galaxy, the sun, the solar system. Which do you think is right? The universe, what? Answer is A, 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 A. Because the universe contains galaxies, stars, solar system, so it is the largest. Moving on to question number 18. Name the first Indian who traveled into space. The answer is C. Rakesh Sharma. Moving on to question number 19. Earth rotates around its axis. It rotates from east to west. East to west. Okay, guys. Going on to question number 20, which stage is not related to the life of a star? Gas giant. The answer is D. Chapter 6, the stars. Have this question. Going on to question number 21, where a star is born? Nebula. It's a bit. Again, chapter 6, the stars. Moving on to question number 22. Which of the following star burns its fuel very quickly? Blue stars. Again, chapter 6, the stars answer is C. Moving on to question number 23. What is the other name of pole star? Not star. Blue bit. Which of the following is the artificial source of light. Can you guess which one? Yep, that's right. A candle. Moving on to question number 25. Which of the following planets shows faces like the moon? Answer is A. No information was provided in the book, so it was a bit hard for me. So I just thought, thought, thought. I wrote the answer A and, and it was correct. 
I don't know how. Which of the four? Which of these planets does not have a natural satellite? Venus, Mercury, and Venus. All right, guys. Comets are made up of ice and dust. See there. We on to question number 28. The biggest satellite of our solar system is Ganymede because it is the satellite of Jupiter. It has 63 moons and one of them is Ganymede. This is the largest moon. Number 29. What are huge holes on the surface of moon known as craters? Answer is D. Chapter 5. The moon have the same question. Moving on to question number 30. What comes between the inner and outer planets? Answer is B. So my analysis say that 95% of the question paper was asked from the book. So study the book thoroughly. I have made my IOM and IOEO question paper analysis also. Do check them out. I hope this video was informative to you. I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.